For residents near Indian River, it was a day to celebrate. Today marked the completion of the Safe Pathways Project, a project that cost nearly $1 million and took eight years to complete. Trying to get everybody's regulations to work with everybody else's and then the time frames. It was just a, it's a lot of project, a lot to get all the grants lined up and make sure the DDA had the, the funding and then get a design that worked with the community and didn't encroach on people's property too much or hurt their parking lot. So there were a lot of hurdles to go through. More than $800,000 in grants were used to pay for the project. One of the grants required the bridge and pathways to provide a safer way for students to walk to Inland Lake schools. Crossing this bridge is dangerous. There's a, I mean, it's M68, it's a highway, and we have a lot of our kids that live in the downtown area, and for them to come to school on, um, on that route was dangerous. So this really gives them exactly what the title is, safe routes to school. So we can offer not only safe passage, but what a benefit to the community as well. The path isn't just a bridge, it is also a trail that brings the town together. Um, this trail connects the North Central State Trail right off of 68 up there, right by I-75. Connects it with our downtown area, first of all. Comes across here and comes to our state park, Burt Lake State Park, and then continues on to the school. So it actually connects the south end of town with town, which has never happened before. Until today, in Sheboygan County, Nathan Lahoda, 7 and 4 News.